This is part two of a presentation on the Pinion Canyon expansion. So why is this happening? Why do American citizens find themselves trying to defend their land against an invasion by their own military? According to the Base Realignment and Closure Commission, or BRAC, the expansion is not necessary. Their report says that with or without including Pinion Canyon Maneuver Site in the accounting of acreage, Fort Carson still has plenty of room to accommodate the increased number of soldiers that are being restationed there from Fort Hood. The military has presented a number of reasons why they say they need this land. One of the reasons that they've put forward is that they say the land looks a lot like Iraq. This suggests that they need to take a better look at the region. Another reason that they put forward is that they consider that the ranches and rural communities which would be left in the wake of the forced removal of the population are a potential asset in terms of training for urban warfare. The military was banking on the fact that the people living in this area tend to be pretty supportive of the troops. They didn't anticipate the level of resistance that has developed. The real reason that this is happening is that it's part of the legacy of former Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld. He envisioned a new high-tech military made of satellites and robots that would be a bonanza for the military-industrial complex. Well, Rumsfeld's gone, but his vision is still in place. And that vision calls for a much larger training range. A uh, 2002 interview with Robert Stack, Fort Carson Range Manager, indicated that Rumsfeld future combat bat systems would require a 150 by 150 kilometer box and Pinion Canyon was being looked at back then for just such an expansion. Subsequent military documents scaled it down a bit. A leaked Fort Carson map which surfaced in 2006 shows a phased plan to expand Pinion Canyon to a 100 by 100 kilometer area or 2.5 million acres. Initially that leaked map was denounced as a forgery and then discredited as someone's pipe dream. Fort Carson quickly issued a different map, the one that you see in the upper right uh, on your screen. At first it appeared that the new map was indeed very different. But then we noticed that it was simply an encircling of the early phases. The circles match up perfectly with the initial phases on the leaked map. Since then we've acquired a number of military documents through the Freedom of Information Act. While much of the important information within these documents has been whited out, some telling details remain. The silhouetted shape of the proposed expansion area was left intact on this map. It matches the shape from the earlier leaked map. Ranchers who are faced with the possibility of losing their homes are asking why, when the Department of Defense already has 25 million acres at their disposal, why do they need more? There are numerous large underutilized training sites that could be used including Fort Bliss and White Sands, the Yuma Proving Grounds, Fort Irwin and China Lake, the Nellis Training Range in Nevada, and Dugway Proving Grounds in Utah. The Pinion Canyon Expansion Opposition Coalition is broadly based. It includes historians who are concerned with protecting valuable sites related to the early history of Colorado, including the prehistoric Folsom culture, Native Americans, 
Spanish explorers, early trappers and traders, Hispanic settlers, Santa Fe trail travelers, and of course the early ranching culture. 677 sites eligible for listing on the National Register of Historic Places have been identified on the current Pinion Canyon site alone. There are thousands more within the proposed expansion area. The coalition is also made up of conservationists who want to preserve what is called one of the largest, most intact short grass prairies and canyonland landscapes in the American West. Peace activists oppose the expansion because they see it as a manifestation of a military-industrial complex which has grown completely out of control. And of course, the coalition includes landowners who are faced with the possibility of being forced from the land that their families have lived upon for four and five generations. The Colorado Cattlemen's Association has joined with the coalition in opposition to the expansion. Agriculture represents 16% of the economy of Los Animas County. Rural communities in southeastern Colorado also stand in opposition to the expansion. It would mean the outright elimination of several small towns along with the closure of their schools. Most have passed resolutions against the proposal. Larger towns like La Junta and Trinidad also depend on an agricultural economic base. There is no indication that an expansion would benefit these towns. All of the benefits would accrue to Colorado Springs. Politicians like to talk of arriving at some win-win economic solution that would somehow compensate the people of southeastern Colorado for their losses. But there is no win-win economic solution to this issue because this is not essentially an economic issue. It is a moral and ethical issue. This is really about standing together with our neighbors as we fight to protect our land. The real reasons are about preserving fundamental rights written into our U.S. Constitution, which guarantee us security from the encroachment of the federal government into the security of our homes. The real reasons include resistance to an overreaching military-industrial complex which is abusing our military by using it to take the land of American citizens forcing them from their homes. You can help us to fight this injustice by spreading the word to your contacts across America. Put up a No Pinion Canyon expansion yard sign. Host a house party and show the documentary not for sale to your friends. Contribute articles and letters to the editor of your local newspaper. Invite the Pinion Canyon Expansion Opposition Coalition to make a presentation to the groups and organizations that you're a member of. And volunteer your time and money to the Pinion Canyon Expansion Opposition Coalition. And most importantly, communicate with the senators and congressional representatives in your state. This is especially important if you live in Colorado. You can contact the Pinion Canyon Expansion Opposition Coalition by writing us at Post Office Box 137, Kim, Colorado, zip code 81049, or by telephoning us at area code 719-980-5114. Our email address is Pinion Canyon Expansion Opposition Coalition, or PCEOC, at Hughes.net. We also invite you to visit our website, www.pinioncanyon.com.